Okay, let's talk about scatter plots. And uh, here you can kind of see a basic illustration. This is what a scatter plot looks like. Of course, uh, we're going to actually do something with the scatter plot. So this is kind of an introductory video to um, what a scatter plot is. Um, but if you're confused about scatter plots, I'm going to clear that confusion up. And I'm going to basically uh, teach you how to solve scatter plot uh, problems. Okay, so with that being said, let me go ahead and first introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tabba Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And over the last several years, I've constructed many, many online math courses. So if you're in middle school math, high school math, even college math, you might want to check out my uh, full math learning program. I'll leave that in the description of this video. That's where you're going to find my most comprehensive, complete instruction okay um, also if you're new to my youtube channel uh, i have hundreds and hundreds of math videos that can help you out and even other videos on scatter plots so there are some um, a lot of different skills that we need to really understand to fully solve scatter plot problems so i'm not going to teach every single one of those we're just going to stick stick to more of the basic concepts of and an overview of how to handle scatter plot problems. But if you want more additional information, you know, again, you can check out my YouTube channel or go to my full math learning program. Uh, so with that being said, let's get right to it. Scatter plots. So this is an example of a scatter plot. Okay. Now, what is a scatter plot? Well, if you just think about the word scatter, right? Let's say you go in your backyard and you see a bunch of squirrel, squirrels there, and you kind of, you know, alarm them, and what, what happens? Well, the squirrels, they scatter away, right? They all, they all take off in random directions. That's kind of the idea with the scatter plot. It's kind of like a, uh, you know, it doesn't have a perfect, like, pattern to it. And then a plot is what we're talking about here are X, Y points on a graph, okay? X, Y points on a graph. Now, typically, scatter plot problems are going to involve some sort of word problem. So as you study x, y problems, what we call linear equations and uh, graphs of lines and slope and whatnot, you'll do various type of word problems where instead of x and y being our axis here, just representing just numbers, our x-axis could represent something like, let's say, days or times, minutes, doesn't make a difference. And maybe our y-axis is temperature, okay? so. Uh, you're, you're, we can have, and this is the whole idea behind learning about scatter plots, because you're going to really apply this stuff to actual real life, you know, concepts, you know, um, uh, what we're going to do here is just stick with just basic X, Y points, but just know that, you know, when you're, um, studying linear equations and X, Y plots, it doesn't always have to be X. It could be, a, uh, days and temperature, et cetera. And I'm assuming you're probably already kind of knew this, but keep that in mind when you're doing scatter plot problems. But let's just focus on the basic concepts of scatter plots. So again, the word scatter plot is we are kind of scattering around these little X, Y points, these plots uh, here. And let's take a look at um, uh, some of the main definitions here that go along with scatter plots. But before we do that, let's quickly, quickly review the slope of a line. So if I have a slope, like if I have a line in this direction, it has some sort of slope to it, okay? Now, let me ask you, does this line have a positive slope, negative slope, zero slope, or an undefined slope? Okay, do you know that? Well, you should know that, right? So the slope of this line is actually positive, okay? All right, so if you got that right, and you're like, oh yeah, that's a positive slope, that's excellent, all right? So lines that, uh, that increase from left to right, I mean, we're talking about like y equals mx plus b here, the m is always gonna be a positive value. All right, so how about lines that fall from left to right? Hopefully this is gonna be easy and obvious. Yes, what is the slope of lines that fall in this direction? Negative, okay? so this M will be a negative value, a negative fraction, maybe like negative one third. Maybe this would be, maybe M is equal to positive two thirds, okay? All right, so uh, lines that go perfectly horizontal have what? No slope or undefined slope, right? So hopefully you'd say, oh, they have no slope, their slope is zero, and you would be correct. And then perfectly vertical lines 
have what we call undefined slope. There is no slope, right? So you need to understand slope um, and linear equations to really understand scatter plots. So, uh, so these are kind of the fundamental prerequisites, if you will, uh, when you're studying scatter plots. If you don't understand slope, I'm going to erase all this, um, or how to graph linear equations. Here, let's just kind of write this down here. Here's what you need to understand, right? You need to understand slope. You need to understand how to graph uh, lines, uh, particularly using the slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. And you need to know how to find the equation of lines, okay? That's a whole nother deal, right? So if I say, uh, here is a line, uh, um, what's the equation of a line that, that goes to the point 2, 7 and has a slope of 1 half, right? You need to know how to do that problem, okay? Uh, again, if you had a, a problem similar to this, uh, a line goes to the point 2, 7 and negative 1, 8, all right? So I give you two points, all right? I need you to find the equation of that line. So that would be some sort of y equals mx plus b, okay, formula. So... If you don't know how to do those problems or how to calculate the slope, then you're going to have a tough time with scatter plot problems. You're, you're pretty much not going to be able to do them. Okay, so you got to understand slope, understand this, all, all this stuff here. Again, if you're having trouble with it, um, you know you might want to go ahead and check out my algebra course because in my full math uh, instruction, uh, you know I have this all organized the way you're going to learn it. But you can also go to, uh, on my YouTube channel. I have different. Um, uh, videos on uh, little quick tutorials on this stuff as well, right? Okay, so with all that being said, all right, now we can start talking about scatter plots. All right, so let's go ahead and plot some points. Okay, so point, 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 point. I'm just scattering them around, dot, 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 right? So these are um, just random little x, y points. So maybe this point here is at 2, 2. And maybe this guy right here is at, I don't know, let's say 10, 12. And this point over here is at negative 10, negative uh, 7, whatever the case is, right? So this is just some sort of scattering. And I just kind of just did it randomly, right? I just plotted some points. But let's suppose I was given some values and I plotted them this way. If we kind of look at what's going on, if you kind of just look at the general pattern you see, we kind of seem, or it seems like it's kind of going in this manner, right? So if you're like, yeah, kind of, you know, the, the, the plot is kind of going like so, and you would be uh, correct. So uh, in scatter plots, we, we talk about something called correlation, okay? So this word, I'm not going to spell it because I will spell it wrong. So correlation is basically this idea of the slope of a line, okay? So when we have a plot like this, this plot has a positive correlation, okay? Positive correlation. So uh, before I speak about the rest of the different type of correlations, let's just keep this up here, right? So what is the main purpose of the scatter plot, right? When we're doing scatter plot problems. Well, the main uh, purpose is to try to use any two points. Well, let me draw, let me put that back up here, okay? We have to use, let's say, uh, looking at this plot, Pick two points. You can only pick two points around this plot. But if you drew a line through those two points, it would best represent this overall pattern. Okay? Let me just repeat that again. So you have all these choices of, of, of dots here. Okay? These plots. Pick two of these points. Okay? Because you're going to draw a line through any two points. Uh, pick the best two points that, that represents this trend the best. Okay? So let's let me show you some uh, obvious like two points that are like <laughs> obviously wrong. So let's say I pick this point and this point. I'm like okay, I'll pick those two points. Well, if you drew a line through those two points, that's like a horrible representation of this overall pattern, right? So those are you know clearly not the best two points to pick. Okay, but uh, let's say well, what if you pick these two points? All right, so well. It's, this is at least in a positive direction, but still, we can do much better than that, right? So, uh, let's see here, all right? Uh, oh, I don't know. What about if we pick this point and this point? Okay, so that's, remember, we can't pick a point we can't, uh, that's not on 
the graph, not part of the scatter. So if I drew this like so, that's pretty good, right? So the main idea with the scatter plot, okay, in terms of proms is trying to find two points that best represent the overall trend. So what we're going to do is take this point and this point, and we're going to find the y equals mx plus b, okay? So what we're going to do, let's say this point here was uh, negative 4, negative 2, and this point right here, let's say, was 7, uh, 6, all right? You, again, would be uh, basically um, uh, the problem kind of relates down to this. Find the equation of a line, all right? Find the equation of a line, find the y equals mx plus b of a line that passes through negative 4, negative 2, and 7, 6, okay? So you would have to know how to calculate the slope and use all this kind of formula, et cetera. But this is the skills that you need to already be coming into to be talking about scatter plots. Of course, if you're rusty on this or don't understand that, then go back and, and do what you got to do. But this is the whole essence of scatter plot problems, okay? Find the best two points of, in that scatter, okay, whatever the case is, all right? That, so when you draw a line to them, best represents the trend, okay? With those two coordinates, you're going to find the equation of the line, and it's going to be some sort of y equals mx plus b form. Now, again, it could be some sort of linear model, right? If we're talking about, uh, let's say this is days and this is temperature, okay? Our y now is no longer y, it's temperature, okay? And our m is no longer, I'm sorry, x is no longer x, it's days. So this would be m days plus b, some other number. So again, at this point, I don't want to be um, overly redundant, but I want to make sure that you're not coming in to learning about scatter plots without already done some of these uh, other type of problems. Okay, so that is the big gist of scatter plots. But now let me go back to um, this correlations business, okay? All right, so let's erase everything. But uh, if you understood what I was talking about right now, and then, uh, then you pretty much got the main idea of scatter plots, right? But we do have to kind of emphasize a few other important things. So we talked about if a scatter is kind of like in this direction, it has a, it's similar to a positive slope, so its correlation is positive. All right, so likewise, if a scatter is in this direction, you guessed it, what's going on here? Well, this is like a negative line. So this is like a negative slope, right? So this is negative correlation, okay? Negative correlation. Again, that word uh, correlation is effectively like slope. Now, what happens, and by the way, too, uh, in that problem, like so, let's just do this. What if I had one guy way out here, right? And let's say you're like, oh, well, this doesn't really fit this overall pattern. Okay, but it's part of this data. We would refer to this as what? Like an outlier, right? Yeah, it's part of our information, but it's kind of an oddball. We'll just kind of leave it out of the way. The, still, the main idea of this problem is to use the best two points. We wouldn't use these two points because, look, that line's kind of mm, definitely off. But, and if I use these two points, it's like better. But we can we can get much, you know, much more accurate so when you're doing these scatter plot problems, you really do have to think about what you're going to use. So let's say I use this one and this one. Okay. Now there's going to be plenty of times where uh, two students uh, could pick um, two pairs, di different pairs of points, but both are good options. So you're uh, oftentimes in scatter plot problems, you're not going to have the exact same answer maybe as what the book has, your teacher has, but it should be very, very close. Okay. Should be very, very close. So sometimes it's not obvious. There's not just always w one pair of points that are the exact best points. So, um, but you don't, you, you definitely want to stay away from things that are obviously not, um, not, <laughs> you know, terrible options, right? Okay. So what happens if I have this kind of situation? Okay. Uh, you're like, uh, okay, that looks like a constellation. It looks like a bunch of stars. You would be right. 
well, I'm totally confused, right? And you would be right. I'm confused as well. And so in this situation, there is no trend going on here. So there's no correlation. This has zero correlation. So the whole main concept behind scatter plots is really looking to try to model a trend, okay? So we can have some predictive uh, behavior to it, right? Let me kind of leave you with this. So if I have something kind of going on like so, right? In mathematics, okay, and statistics and stuff, we try to look at for trends, right? So if I have something going on here, you're like, well, looks like the trend is like, you know, in this manner, right? So here, this would be kind of difficult because these two points, you know, you might have to end up, you know, maybe using, you know, maybe these two points uh, might be our best option or these two points, okay? Because you want to get that slope right. There's nothing in between. Because if I use this and this, it's going to kind of take me off in this direction. But what we're trying to do is predict where future points might be, future data might be. And this is the whole idea behind statistics is trying to predict forward, okay, where other plots could be, you know, either in this direction or in this direction. Okay, that's really the main essence of it. So scatter plots, first thing is just learn how to do these problems with the uh, basic X, Y points. And then, of course, you're going to be um, doing word problems where the X axis can be something like, you know, uh, days, minutes, and the Y axis can be something like temperature. It can be any number of two different things, you know, and you would be given the data like uh, days and temperature. This is how you would get your 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 plots, right? You would be like, okay, on day one, it was 78 degrees. Day two, it was uh, 65 degrees. Maybe these are the high temperatures of the day. Day three, it was 64 degrees. And maybe like, you know, you keep, you can get this data could go forever, right? Like we're talking about, a, um, you know, a year, maybe, uh, I don't know, 200 days into the year, it was 87 degrees, right? So you'll get all kinds of information and data packaged in different way, different ways. So it's important that you understand all these sub skills when you're working with uh, X, Y plots, linear equations, et cetera. It's a huge topic in algebra and in the courses. You've got to really understand this. So if you're frustrated with scatter plots, figure out what, what's bothering you. Okay. Is it the algebra? It's a, you know, finding the, the slope, uh, working with uh, Y equals MX plus B equation etc. Or maybe it was just the concept of what scatter plots are and how to kind of uh, do these problems. Okay. All right. So with that being said that, you know, with that being said, hopefully this video cleared up, um, you know, some things about scatter plots or questions, things that were kind of getting in your way. And if that was the case, then I did my job, but uh, I definitely want to wish you all the best in your mathematics uh, adventures. Uh, definitely appreciate your time and have a great day.